If there was a prize for the most recognizable function, this little squiggle would probably take the cake. It's called logistic function, or a sigmoid, and was originally proposed in 1838 by a Belgian mathematician Pierre-François Verhulst to describe population growth. It then made its way into many other disciplines, including machine learning, where it spawned one of the most popular classification algorithms, logistic regression. In a nutshell, logistic regression is what you get if you slap the logistic function on top of another algorithm called linear regression. We will try to figure out exactly what this means and how to solve logistic regression. But before we got completely confused, let's have a look at an example. Say we wanted to predict which students would pass an exam based on how many hours of study they did. If some students' results are already known, we can try to use them to predict the results of the remaining students. Logistic regression does exactly that. But before we can apply it, we have to convert our labels to zeros and ones. We will label every successful attempt as one and every failed attempt as zero. Logistic regression first applies a linear function to our data points, then it distorts this linear function using the sigmoid. Finally, to predict each student's result, we move their point vertically until it meets the line. We predict pass for all students that landed above the height of 0.5 and fail for everyone below that height. This seemingly random cutoff has its roots in probability. We interpret the height as the probability that a student would pass the exam, with 0.5 corresponding to a 50% chance, and 1 meaning that we are certain the student will succeed. To find the best fitting curve, we would have to minimize something called cost function. Now, I have to admit, the formal definition of logistic regression isn't exactly intuitive. So if you feel like you now have more questions than when we started, you are not alone. But I find that answering just two of these questions can give you quite a good grasp of what logistic regression does. The first question is, why logistic function? That is, why does logistic regression have the shape it has? The second question is, unsurprisingly, how to solve it? This video attempts to answer the first question, while solving logistic regression will be the subject of my next video. A good place to start is a related algorithm called linear regression. Given the collection of data points, it finds the best fitting straight line. To define a linear function, you need two parameters. The first parameter is called the slope and is defined as the tangent of the angle between the line and the x-axis. The second parameter is called the intercept. It defines the shift along the y-axis. If you want a more detailed explanation of linear regression, you can watch a video that I recently made about it. One question that immediately pops to mind is, why not use the linear regression for our exam prediction problem? It would fit a straight line through the data points, and as before, we would move points to the line and predict success if they ended up above 0.5 and fail otherwise. While this might seem reasonable, Let's see what would happen if we were to add several more positive examples to the right. This lowers the line and results in several positive examples being misclassified as negative. But can we modify linear regression to avoid this glitch? Let's start by asking how exactly this problem occurred. The further a data point is, the greater its distance to the line. This means that points far on the right will pull the line down and result in some results being misclassified. But what if we were to bend the line so that it always stays between 0 and 1? Now, adding points on the right or left wouldn't be an issue because they would be close to the line and we would avoid misclassifying points. This deformed line is the logistic function that we saw earlier. Recall that parameters a and b are all we need to define a linear function. This means that when a and b are known, we just need to apply the sigmoid and it will give us the formula for the logistic regression. Now we can already start making predictions 
using the cutoff at height 0.5 as before. In practice, A and B are not known and have to be learned. The final piece of the puzzle is to come up with an algorithm for finding A and B that will give the best fit to the data, which will be explained in my next video.